To detach the display from a Redmi Watch 3, you first need to gently heat the device a regular hairdryer works just fine. Then, use a thin blade, like a stationary knife. In my case, I'm using a small piece from one of these knives, slightly reshaped to make the work easier and more precise. After heating the device, gently insert the blade between the display and the frame. Carefully lift the screen just a bit and pour a small amount of rubbing alcohol into the gap to loosen the adhesive. Then, slide a thin plastic sheet into the opening to keep it separated and continue the process safely. Using the plastic sheet, gently slide it around the edges of the display until it's fully detached. If you hit a spot where the adhesive is still strong, just add a bit more rubbing alcohol to help loosen it. The key is to work slowly and carefully without applying too much force. Success! The display is out, intact. Next step, disconnecting it from the motherboard. First, locate and remove the screw, securing the display connector. Once the screw is out, gently lift the connector latch and carefully slide out the display ribbon no sudden pulls. Next step, removing the motherboard from the housing. Start by unscrewing the four mounting screws. Don't forget to disconnect the sensor connector like proximity or light sensors. Once everything is free, use a plastic prying tool to lift. The motherboard? Crucial tip, insert the tool in a safe spot to avoid damaging the board. In my case, I used one of the screw holes as a leverage point. After removing the motherboard, we move on to the battery. It's soldered to the board at two contact points. Using a soldering iron, gently desolder the wires without damaging the pads. Next, the battery is also glued to the housing. Apply a key. Bit of rubbing alcohol around the adhesive area, then use a plastic sheet to slowly pry it off. Work carefully to avoid bending or puncturing the battery. Never use a knife or any sharp metal tool to remove the battery. You risk puncturing it, which can cause explosion or fire. Always use plastic tools and gentle movements. Safety first. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this helped you out. And most importantly, feel free to ask anything in the comments. I'm here to help and guide you the right way. No shortcuts.